Hi everybody, assalamu alaikum. I hope you guys are doing great. I'm doing great by the grace of God, alhamdulillah. And I'm so well. I'm so sorry I haven't posted for some like three weeks or one month like this. But it was nothing was happening. I was just lazy. I was so lazy. Just lazy. Basically, I'll just say to I was so lazy. And I usually want to do my videos when I'm on mood. My mood is active. And that's why I basically want to do my videos. And today I want to talk about I want to talk to my sisters and brothers who are in Gulf and I want to talk about something that most people doesn't talk about and it's regarding our money. Maash, gurush, cash, our ratib, mshahara yetu. And that's what I wanted to talk about. And it's something that has been happening for so long and some people keep it low, it happens, some people sink into depression, others go mad. I've heard of people killing themselves and it's how much money you get how much you share with your family and how your family helps you in either saving your money or investing with your money or how they spend your money so it has reached a point we all come from different backgrounds maybe my family is not as the same as your family i really don't know i really don't know like how your family looks like but wherever una jua venye family yako yuko so the minute you jet in and golf and you start working you also know what brought you from home shida zako zenye zimekuleta huko you also know your family very well most of the families are taking advantage of us those people working in golf like you find you've been sending money and when you go back home after two years you have nothing i've seen people go mad i've seen people go crazy because you can't just be working and you, when you're going home you're expecting you have like a million or five hundred thousand or maybe one hundred thousand and you just go home and find nothing nothing basically nothing so i saw this post on facebook and it prompted me to talk about this and it's a lady who was who had sent someone i think maybe you have seen it and i'll read it how it is i came to saudi five months now I've been the one supporting my family with all my salary, but that's not enough for them according to their reaction. I have a 10-year-old daughter. That is why they're taking advantage of me because they know pesa lazima ni tume juu ni kona mtoto. Sasa jana, eti wanataka kujenga kiugo kia goko. Na hata zile kukumbili wako nazo hapo wanashindua kuangalia. Shuo, should I forget I have a child? If they will, if they will die of hunger, they die. Because this is the third country I'm working as a house help. All my money from Lebanon, they spent it all. I lost my mind when I went to Qatar. Things got worse. I went home with, with zero savings. I went home Saudi Arabia. I went to Help me because I'm lost. So that's one of our friends who is asking for help. One thing I want to tell you, people working in Gulf. The speed that... Do I say it in Kikuyu? It's much easier. Like the speed that you start with when the airplane is jetting off, that is the speed that, that helps it maintain to stay there. So when you came to Gulf, if you showed your family like you are earning and you are sending all the money, this is, will be their mentality. So this lady was asking her for advice. What she, should she do? First of all, it's tricky because she has a baby. She has left her baby at home. So she's wondering, should I stop sending money for my daughter? And so many people gave advices. Some of them told them, forget about your family. They will just skin you alive. Just leave your baby. Take your baby to someone who take your baby to someone whom you trust. First of all, there is no no that what dumb nani dumb should not be good be English blood is thicker than water so in as much as you have a trusted friend no one you can trust with money so what do you do when you come here we have applications here on the phone you can now download an equity app make sure you have an account in kenya when you are called mpesa you can still put your money on mpesa on mshwari on uh, fixed deposit account what is it called yeah mshwari on fund locked savings account save your money there just you know how you left your family you know how much they can manage because you've been there to my person una jua itatosha if you have a kid and you don't trust your family with your money do a direct deposit on your talk to the to take her to a school whereby 
the teacher will try to understand you all the principal make direct payments things have been made easy make direct payments for the school fees like or do one thing when you go home pay one year school fees and know that between january and december i don't have any issues with school fees or anything and then try to send them the money that you know that it's manageable you know kila mtu anajua kwao you know your home background so you know like 10k could be enough 5k could be enough so that at least you start saving there's some families like of that lady she has been working how many years so if she worked in lebanon it's two years she got nothing she came to qatar she worked for two years know your family know where you're coming from and know what you came to do in Doha. otherwise you'll be working here for five years ten years and you just go home and you know family and wale wale too when you become broke when you're at zero level akuna mtu anatakanga ku kuongea na wewe you are that good girl or you are that good young good wana kupenda sahi cuz what you are bringing in the minute you don't have anything to give to them that's the worst part of it and then if you are there watching from home and you are a wife somewhere uko huko nyumbani and your guy sends you money imagine kama sahi the temperature is temperature is at 48 degrees it's extremely hot that guy ana sacrifice two years ana kaa huko doha ana kutumia pesa yake yote huko nyumbani at least to help you grow unakula hiyo pesa like mwenda wazimu at the only thing your husband can find home is getumia kiega kino rugeza kakena makainyo do akuria mikorogo ya matube hello there girl please quit manage yourself let you let your husband after two years of working akikuja nyumbani akute something find some development and for you wazazi you might watch this video hmm? you, no one wishes bad for their kids try to help your to tell, try to help us grow to saidia kukua i will talk about my family alhamdulillah alhamdulillah i will say i'm so grateful for my mom and dad because i am what i am today and the reason i'm still working it because they are taking care of everything and i don't have any 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 problem regarding financial financial things and they're still doing my mom my mom still works mama yangu akaangi nyumbani ati oh pesa zinakuja mm -mm. if you ukikutana mama yangu akibeba manyua you will think like she doesn't have kids no anapenda kujishughulisha she's still working she's still busy with her life with her life whether i send money or no mtoto wangu atakula wow what a cooler their things will still be going on what we send me what i send or my brother send or anyone sends it will just be a top up of what they have but not what they've been waiting for us it's our responsibility to take care of them but they are still energetic they still can work mama wangu ako na kuku zake zinataga mayai anauza anauza kuku ako na ngombe yake moja ama mbili anakamua anauza maziwa like she still busy with her own life she doesn't depend on me so much so and that's the reason i can say alhamdulillah 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 not all parents are the same but my parents alhamdulillah i have something because of them i have an investment because of them and they're the one who will advise me on what to do on my money and i'll just pray that we get parents who will still understand i'll try to understand that maisha ni huku huku ni ngumu and my last piece of advice dear sisters try to save your money here don't try to send someone money to save for you kwa account mm -mm. achana na your story you can if already you are here in doha and you you hadn't opened an account with equity uh, um and pesa is giving you a chance to save your money you can save your money in um, in um, in lock in mshwari in and actually in mshwari it has it has benefits when uh, in a, the, the money has interest so it's still good for you so I'll sip my cup of coffee and I'll just take a break and inshallah on my next video please comment there inbox me tell me what you need me to talk more about we shall keep in touch and we shall keep talking about this one much love and god bless you inshallah and I wish you all the best my dear sisters and brothers in gulf and I hope inshallah how to talk huko bila kitu god will bless you and god will bless your resources yani maash ratib mshahara 
kila kitu unafanya ikuwe ya mafanikio inshallah i wish you all the best inshallah much love and god bless you maslama